Now we're going to shift gear. Our next presenter is Ankita Jagadish. She's going to be talking to us about the endangered animals of the world. Fascinating presentation. So here's Ankita. Hello, my name is Ankita Jagadish, and my project is on endangered species. Before we get started, I just want to share a little quote by Jane Goodall, and she's a chimpanzee expert. So, um, only if we understand we can't, um, can we go back? Only if we understand we care, only if we care we will help, and only if we help shall they be saved. This is a table of contents to show the structure of um, my presentation. So this is a little story about a white gorilla named Snowflake. Snowflake is the one and only albino gorilla in the whole entire world, and albino meaning white furred gorilla. When he was very little, he was spotted by a farmer and his whole entire family was killed. For most of his life, he spent, for most of his life, um, scientists and zoologists worked on him. The main question was, why was his fur so white? Um, sadly, he died in 2003 from an albinism skin cancer. If he was the one and only albino gorilla in all, like, all the records, all the books, if we knew this, if we studied him in the wild and we took more care of him, he could have lived longer and we could have found more information on him. These are just a few pictures of um, the, the Salvano gorilla. This is a list of the top 10 endangered animals. Based on this list, I took a few animals to put my presentation on. So, mountain gorillas. Well, I'm sure you could read it yourself. <laughs> These are just a few pictures of the um, animals. So let's start off with more leopards. So more leopards are different from most animal, from most cats. To start off, they are one of the most endangered cats in the world. There are only 57 of them left today, but that's an increase because in 2007, there were only 30 left. Um, these cats have dense hair varying in color from creamy yellow to an orange. They also have spots that are more dense and thicker, plus larger legs and wider paws. Um, this, these are some of their adaptations to move around in the snow. Um, yeah, they live in the snow. They live in a small part of Primorskill in Russia, and they're scattered across northern China. Many scientists say that they're going to die of, because they have trouble in genetic mutation, which is breeding. If we know this, why aren't we doing anything about it? Again, a few pictures of a more leopard and where they live. Next is Asian elephants. So, Asian elephants, um, they are tortured in many circuses and they're killed for their task, for money, or even just for fun. They stand up to 6 to 5 feet, 6.5 feet tall to 11.5 feet tall. That's taller than my dad. Um, they weigh at an average 11,000 pounds. Uh, they, they're less, they're fewer than, they were fewer than 150 in 2000, and this is mainly because of hunting. These wonderful creatures are dying, we, I'm sorry, fin whales. I'm sure everyone knows what the blue whale is, right? One of the most endangered whales in the world. But does anyone know the second most endangered whale? A fin whale is the second most endangered whale and the second largest whale in the world. There are only 30,000 of them left in the oceans. That might sound like a lot, but that's less than the amount of people in this town. They mostly live in northern oceans. 
they're frequently found in the northern oceans, but there are only 700, and, but not that many are found in southern because that's usually where they're hunted. 750,000 whales were killed for commercial, um, and they were almost hunted to extinction in 1976, but the International Whaling Commission banned this from happening. Even with this law passed, 155 fin whales die every year. But, uh, believe it or not, because of hunting. Some places where you're still allowed to hunt this animal is in Norway, Japan, and Iceland. Giant pandas. I'm sure everyone knows what the large bear-like mammal is, the panda. Its average lifespan is only 20 years, and it eats at least 20 pounds a day to fill its stomach, while we only eat four pounds. Sadly, we're losing these creatures by the minute, and there are only 1,596 left. However, this is mostly, well, it's not mostly because of this, but this is part of the reason. Um, bamboo, their digestive system isn't so strong, and so they can't digest the bamboo. When the bamboo's in their stomach, they think it's full, they feel full, but their mind is saying, I want to eat, I want to eat, but they die. The, uh, these animals also eat leaves, stems, and believe it or not, rodents. So as you can tell, these are truly beautiful creatures. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas are magnificent animals, but because of this, they are becoming extinct. These gorillas live in Central America. Many people believe gorillas are ferocious animals, but they're really just shy and protective. There are roughly 700 left in the world today. These gorillas are like humans. They share 98% of our DNA, um, live up to 60 to 70 years, and are about six feet tall. So killing a, mountain, killing a gorilla is like killing a human, which, you know, it's not a good thing. This is a chart to show the increase from mountain gorillas from um, all these animals from 2000 to now. As you can see, there is an increase, but these animals are still endangered, and we have to do more to save them. In conclusion, these These animals are like humans and shouldn't be treated any differently from the way we treat each other. We're killing, how would you feel if animals killed us for skin, for um, money, or just for fun? We're treating them as if they're just useless toys. About 56 million animals are killed every year, including pets, wild animals, and farm animals. It's hard to believe that the population of an animal can go from millions to only hundreds. We make this possible and that's not a good thing. There are over 100 um, preser wildlife preservation companies that you can join. And if not, you can still donate some money. Anything you do will make a difference. But remember, once they're gone, they're not coming back. This is a glossary to show some words that if, uh, you might have had a little trouble on, but you guys are a highly intelligent audience, so I'm sure you don't need this. And this is a bibliography to credit all the sources I used. The end.